In tonight's Healthier Me, as the weather gets warmer and the school year comes to a close, more and more children will be out and about. Valley News Team's Danielle Barber explains safety precautions parents should consider before their kids head outside to play, bike, or even just go for a walk. Children ages 5 to 14 are seen in emergency rooms for injuries related to biking more than any other sport. If your kids are going to be riding any kind of bike or any wheeled sport activities, um, wearing a bike helmet will reduce their chance of any kind of head trauma. Elizabeth Ostrich says helmets can protect against severe brain injuries by 88 percent, but that's only if the child is wearing the helmet properly. You want to make sure that the helmet is level on their forehead, um, not riding back like a baseball hat or anything. And the other thing is to have their ear straps coming down right below their ear to form a V. And then you want it tight enough on their neck that when they open their mouth, they can feel the helmet tugged down. If your child gets into an accident and hits his or her head, wearing that same bike helmet again will do no good. Most are only designed to take one impact. Um, so just knowing that if they do have a serious wreck and they hit the cement or any kind of hard surface that they should replace it. While riding a bike can be a big safety hazard, something as simple as crossing the street can be just as dangerous. Developmentally, kids can't judge the speed or the distance of how far a vehicle is until they're around the age of 10. Um, so definitely monitoring any type, kind of activity, crossing roads or anything um, until they're the age of 10 at least is very important. The risk for teens, however, is even higher. And Ostrich believes the rise in technology is to blame. Don't be texting while they're walking across the street, but also unplugging their headphones. Um, so that they can hear oncoming traffic because that's a huge distraction of when you're listening to their music or whatever they're listening to. To lower the risk of injury, Ostrich recommends actively supervising your children and making sure they have the appropriate gear on before they do anything. Danielle Barber, Valley News Live. Safe Kids FM and Sanford Safety Shop are holding their grand reopening and car seat roundup event this Friday and Saturday, April 22nd and 23rd. For more information on the event, you can head to our website, valleynewslive.com, and click on the Healthier Me tab. Later in sports, the Twins and Brewers meet again, this time in Milwaukee. Highlights in the score later in sports. And McDonald's unleashes an entire family of Big Macs.